Your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Yeah, I finally get to talk. Clearly. <laughs> right, hold on. I'm going to save these clips. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's read the journal, actually. So. This is quite unique, actually, because throughout the game you'll be having this journal. Uh, a couple of things to point out. Firstly, art was actually a really good drawer. <laughs> there is quite a number of unique drawings of this, for example. There's one there. new. Yeah, here we are. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck. I bought this but new journal after the last one got destroyed in that fire all those months ago. Whatever it was. Haven't written or drawn money. much in the past few months, but I was missing it more than I thought I would in tiny near stores. So here I am, I guess. After all that business up north in the fire, we spent a few months in the wilderness traveling down to the northern grizzlies. We're safe. I'm sorry, I don't want to be talking off. Stay strong, Jose. Uh, what was that again? Sorry. Travelling down from the northern Grizzlies, stuck mostly in the western foothills hills of the mountains during the worst of the weather, food, during the worst of the winter. Food was easy to find, life was good. Dutch had a lead for some plan we were going to buy, but the land did not match up to his criteria, or he got spooked we were being watched by the law and that somebody knew he was, and we, have never, we never bought him, and we are wandering still. We picked up a couple of new folk in the Grizzlies. Jenny, a sweet young girl we met abandoned on the roadside, and Micah, an outlaw Dutch met in a bar someplace. Dutch it seems very taken on Micah, who's pretty hot headed, argumentative, and full of himself. Jose and I are less sure. Guess we shall see. Eventually, we came out of the winter, sorry, wilderness and are now holed up outside the Blackwater, although sometimes they stay in town hunting for opportunities. It might be on something. We got plenty of money, and the trail we took was so torturous and slow, and nobody could have followed us south, south or east. I figured out where we was heading. We was thinking about California, but then Dutch and Jose brought us to the Blackwater. Blackwater is apparently growing a lot since any of them was last year, and I was told to expect a little more than a trading post. But the town, or sorry, but the place is growing fast, and it's almost a small city. The town seems to be riddled with corruption, but there's certainly plenty of money here. It's good to be sleeping in a bed from time to time and living a more civilized life for so long under canvas, but I do not particularly like being near this, being this near to a town. Oh, that's another thing about Arthur, by the way, I should mention. He does not like civilization, as you saw there. He doesn't like the idea of him going into the east. He'd rather be... He'd rather be in the open lands, basically. That's actually a big kind of trait, character you can see in this game. Uh, we were living here camping outside town, mostly hidden in plain sight, I guess. Life seemed pretty easy. Abigail and Marston keep arguing. I wonder why exactly he came back. He cannot seem to, cannot seem to decide if he wants to be a father to that boy of his or not. The arguing is exhausting. I heard talk of a man sitting like Trelawney, but we haven't seen him for many months. Jose and I are onto something, something pretty big. It might be a lot of cash coming in to do a real estate scam. Jose thinks they may have discovered. Uh, I'm not sure yet. The perfect crime, we think. One where we rob crooks. We're being real careful. It's fun working with Jose again. This man is an artist of nonsense. Even if nothing comes of it, we are having an amusing enough time. It's good to be running scams again. Jose is a bone hookster. He's getting anxious, worried that by lingering in the town, we are going to bring undue attention onto ourselves. 
I don't think he's onto something big, his words, not mine. Bank money being brought in by boat, apparently. So for now, we are working on both things and seeing what happens. Plan is to fly, was plan is to flee east into the desert country someplace if we can. Mike and Dutch are planning to rob the ferry in town. They think it's laden with riches, cash coming in for the banks, coming in by the boat. For once, I am not getting involved in the job. Jose and I are too taken up with our business, which I believe could go very well. Dutch seems confident that with the group assembled, all will be okay. Plan is for them to carry out the job, then flee into the wilderness out to the west. The next day, Jose and I carry out our scam and join them. Dutch seems happy and excited. He's talking again about California, but he's also talking about a lot of other places. Alright. Oh, look. We've been running for weeks. I mean, running more than usual. The job they was pulling in Blackwater and robbing that ferry, it turned into a disaster. Young Jenny got killed. The fourth thing, while Sean and Mac both got arrested or, or killed, nobody seems sure which. Dutch shot a girl. I'm not too sure if it by accident or design, and seems like it might have been a setup. We took to the hills in an almighty scramble, leaving only most of our things behind. Then, as we were flying, or then as we were fleeing east over the Grizzlies, an almighty storm hit us. Davy Collander, who got shot gut in the raid, passed away. He was brutal to watch, and the most the rest of us mostly nearly froze. We found shelter and have been re sorry, and have been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we await the thaw. Apparently, the spring I had been hoping for. Jose and I had been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater, but I guess that's been abandoned along with most of what I owned. I am profoundly concerned as to what as to what happens next. Once we leave the place, the law finds us cowering up here. Found a girl, but a woman, I should say. Or her husband had murdered by some of Colm O'Driscoll's boys. Nasty business. Alright, that's the end of it. Oh! I might make a little annotation if you don't want to read that, because it's a really long one. But it just gives a bit of backstory to what was going on to the. Uh, what was going on with the group before we actually joined the action. Also gives you a bit more idea of who Arthur is as well and what his kind of strengths are, which is drawing is actually one of them, funny enough, because there's quite a lot of dudes. I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> Oh, I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard! You wanna sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators. Here. Comb? always had good information come on and you think now is the right time to hit a train now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit i'm getting too old for that life mr matthews mr smith mr pearson would you please look after the place there are o'driscoll's about yeah
South West, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core of their planet. Fuck. Did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Gentlemen, this is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. What are you doing? Let's go on foot from here. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Get to grab that rifle from your horse. You two get up there and keep us covered. <laughs> sure thing. Oh yeah, any and all weapons you keep, by the way, they'll end up on the horse. So it's, a, it's actually a little bit like Good. if you've played Max Payne 3. Go. It's a little they've actually taken a lot of elements from that where you can only carry two weapons at one time and you'll see the weapons kind of He'll carry the, the secondary the weapon in his hand. Down as Bill and Micah. But they've improved like it said, in that game as well, though. Revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Like, I do like that. It, it's a lot more flexible as well, like, because we'll, we'll, we'll see later on, like, we can get the dual wheel pistols and all that. And one of the main, I think, problems with Pax being free with the dual wheel system was the fact that you still drop your two handed weapons. So they've actually polished that off, made them a lot more accessible as well. They just made it better. Like, there's a lot of things that they did right in their old games made it better to make this game, I know. It's steep here. Careful.
Oh yeah, since we're talking about weapon and mechanics in this game, so I'll make sure to keep an eye on the gun condition as well. Because that can degrade and can break, I think, as well. I mean, it's never happened to me, but you kind of will say no. Take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running, hush. Let's just get down there first. You'll notice if the gun's dirty or anything like that, because you'll see the smoke's gonna. The smoke will get like really warm or really black as it goes every time you keep pulling the trigger as well. So the way you'll, it's really well done, actually, to do it. But you actually have to use gun oil and all this just to make sure the gun stays clean. So it's a, another kind of unique thing. That, I actually start off with a revolver. Get in cover, Arthur. <laughs> that fella smacks you up something. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Take the lead. Okay. I'll go first. I'd rather shoot a lad. As a mile away. I'm pretty I actually try to be really stealthy here and actually try to get the right shot of an enemy and go anyway, so just be careful. Yep. Oh, that, by the way, is very cinematic. That's one of my favorite things in this game. That never gets old. As I say, remember to take a couple of seconds before you take the shot, or just blind fire like this. It's often a little bit handier if you're going to run for it. Just be aware it's not gonna be accurate. It is a western game after all. Set in the age of night, eh, tail of the age of the So the guns aren't gonna be automatic. <laughs> oh, by the way, the gore in this game is absolutely grotesque. Like, I was at the show, oh shit, I'm about to die. Okay, he's going up on the roof, fair enough. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, that is fucking nice. Oh, man. Yeah, they really have learned from Max Payne as well. Yeah, they just love to use that cinematic camera. Now I will admit this is kind of slow doing this, and you kind of, yeah, I recommend to loot them if you get the chance because it's you'll get good stuff off them. But it's also just a bit of a pain in the ass because they, yeah, this happens as well. More stuff coming, and you just kind of can't be arsed. So I might once I might when this area is cleared up, I might actually just do a bit of a sweep and I'll just edit it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, by the way, Dead Eye is back. Don't be afraid to use it if shit hits the fan, but I'm not gonna spam it either. I don't wanna do that. Tell 
says him spamming it, but anyway. Oh, Foxy. I always keep flipping shooting the hat. Don't need to restore Dead Eye again, it's fine. Do I actually have to do that? Ah, oh, for God's sake, game, I don't know, I'm not arsed. Ah, oh, here, that's an old shite. Alright, never mind, I'm just gonna have to do it. I barely even use the Dead Eye, and the game's like, oh, you've got to use it. Oh yeah, another little trick as well if you are in the quick reload, or the if you, anyone remembers playing the first game, that you could actually activate Dead Eye to reload your gun. The same trick is in this game as well. So if you've got a slow loading gun, like the rifles, you can actually just activate Dead Eye. If you don't want to be waiting too long. Wait, I might actually, uh, just depends how long this is going to take. I might actually edit this because this could take a while. Ah, oh, fuck's sake, where, where's my horse? Oh, there it is. Okay, game, what are you doing? Well, let me mount me horse. Alright, no father, I can't mount me horse. Ah, uh, oh wait, shit, no, what am I doing? Sorry. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Hey, this looks good. What do you think, Bill? Looks fine. <laughs> Smells good. <laughs> Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. 
a Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. <laughs> 